Okay, am I finally in focus? God, this camera sometimes. All right, program break down. Now, hopefully this is gonna be a, a new segment that I do if you guys enjoy it, but um, I want to break down common programs that people use and tell you why they work or they don't work um, and how you can program for yourself. Now, before I go on any further, if you guys are really interested on how to program for maximum strength, check out the series that I did called How to Program for Maximum Strength. Um, there, I, I really go in depth on the process of making a, uh, a program. Now, to start this off, uh, it's common knowledge that in order to work on your maximum strength, you need to be working in a certain percentage range uh, of your one rep max. That percentage range, depending on who you ask, is anywhere from 80% of your max to 100% of your max. The only issue with this general range is that it can be inaccurate. And what I mean by that is, if I was to do a set of 80% uh, for a set of three, it's not gonna be very difficult. And in fact, it's probably not going to uh, elicit any sort of adaptation for my maximum strength. However, if I did that set of 80% at sets of six or seven or even eight, um, that would definitely elicit some sort of change. So there we have the same percentage of our one rep max, but one of them works and the other doesn't. So instead of thinking of things in ranges of your one rep max, you need to start thinking of percentages relative to the actual rep max that you're doing. This is called relative intensity. And so it's a general rule that you want to be working at a relative intensity of 90%, maybe slightly lower if it's the beginning of a cycle, to 100% relative intensity. So how does this relative intensity work? So I'm gonna put a, uh, a rep max chart like right here or something right here. Uh, and you can see the uh, projected rep maxes that you have off of your one rep max. And you can see at the top, it's 100%, right? And as you go down, it takes off about two and a half percent. But you can see down at the bottom, your 10 rep max is 75%. And that's what's projected. Obviously, it could be different from person to person, but that just gives you a, uh, a starting point. If you were to come in the gym, feeling really good, you got really hyped up, you could take 75% of your one rep max and hopefully you could get it for a maximum set of 10. Uh, commonly people use the term RPE, that would be an RPE 10. So in order to work sets of 10 um, and elicit a maximum strength change, you need to be working off of that 75%. As my example, I'm gonna pull up the uh, cow strength video right here. What's the percentage? Remember why else is 65 after the 70? Why is yours at 70? And so they're using a percentage of 65% of their one rep max, and they're doing it for three sets of 10. Now, we need to figure out where that falls as far as relative intensity goes. What we need to ask ourselves is, what number did they multiply by 75% to get 65%? And there's gonna be a little algebra equation right here, but uh, essentially all that you have to do is divide for X, you find out that they're working at 86% relative intensity. Now for the beginning of a cycle, 86% relative intensity is pretty much spot on, uh, especially considering that, you know, these elite weightlifters at Cal Strength, they haven't been working sets of 10 uh, for a long time, if ever. So for the beginning of a cycle, just to break things up a bit, they're doing sets of 10 at 80%, 86% relative, sorry. And, and that's awesome. So that, that fits right in that, that money spot. Something that would be a little bit concerning would be if they were working at 75% for multiple sets, right? That essentially would put them at maximum effort for multiple sets. So you can see where uh, the line is as far as an acceptable program and an unacceptable program. But for the most part, they nailed it with this one. I'm not for sure where the jacked and tan cycle goes from the three sets of 10, but I would imagine that they would just increase relative intensity by you know three to 5%. So the next time they they do back squats, they can bump up the relative intensity to 89% and so on and so forth. But that's a much more healthy and safe way of doing uh, a sets with multiple reps than saying, well, we need to fit these sets um, with multiple reps 
from 80% of your one rep max to 100% of your one rep max. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. It's a really quick video with uh, a really quick breakdown. Um, if you guys like this particular segment and you want me to do it on another program, please uh, comment below. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts and if you're interested in me breaking down other programs. If you like the content and this is the first time here, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.